Here we have a spider corpse. Actually, we don't know if it's alive. We're just assuming. And it's at an electrical box next to his really long web because spiders have long webbing. I'm gonna blow on it and see if it's alive. <sighs> oh! Here we are recording an abandoned web behind the washing machine. Why and how did we get here? Because our bunny, Peter, went behind the washing machine. We don't know how he got there, but he got there. So far, we have still seen those spiders and the search continues. And here we are with a bustle of baby spiders in a little sack. There's probably like 1,600 in there. I think I see the mother spider. It's kind of hard to see on camera, but it's there. We're waiting for these little guys to hatch, or else an abandoned web. And yeah, stay tuned. Day two of watching the spider egg. As you can see, they have hatched, at least one of them have, and if you look closely, you can see a little spider chilling by it. Um, go to the left a little bit, and you can see it was helping its mom make a web, but it's a little messy. And if you keep looking, you'll find another spider nearby in the second egg sack. And then if you look by that big nail, you'll find a third spider. The rest are probably hiding in little cracks and crevices. have a daddy long legs trying to climb up the piano wall. This is the only spider that we've seen in the house. I think it's the one that laid the eggs on the porch. Watching how he struggles to go upwards on the wall. So if you saw it wiggling it's the legs that that's because they have like all spiders have hairs on their front arms or legs that have taste buds so they've just been looking it's just been licking the piano right now and i was just sitting there it's probably a little scared a lot of spiders are very timid i'm gonna blow on it to get it moved again So, as you can see, I got to move, and this one seems pretty old since it's struggling to go up the wall. It's kind of startled by its surroundings. The other reason why it's in the piano is because they like small cramped spaces so they can hide. So, as you can see, it's trying to climb up this like foot piece. And I think it's trying to sleep. We should probably stop recording. So here we have a little spider in a corner behind my chair in my bedroom. And it looks like it either might be a male black widow, which is highly unlikely, unlikely but it's possible. Or it could be a baby brown recluse. So... I hope that it'll stay here and settled in so it's easier to document this. And if you see a messy web, you can tell that it's a young adult so it's not fully grown. All young spiders build messy webs because they learn through experience on how to make better webs. Here's a group of pond skaters. They're not fishing spiders because they only have six legs. And as much as they do look like it, if you take a close look, you won't actually see eight of them. As I mentioned, there's only six. So, the hunt for fishing spiders and other spiders continues. Found a spider in Glastonbury, Connecticut, which means it's in our area. Here we have a baby old. It seems to have caught two spiders. Normally, old or weavers will like be the perfectionists of their webs, but young spiders can only make messy webs. That's how I can tell this baby. I found this on our way back after I fell into a rapid. Uh, Alright, so here we have the mother web where the baby home came. Turns out it's very messy which, and it looks like it's been about a year old from when it started, which means this is like a black widow. Here we have another spider. It is actually an orange weaver, but it is a baby. I found 
found some other webs in this area, and this is the second spider we found that likes tree arrows. This is found in the same location as that first spider we found, which is a black widow. So here we have a baby recluse. It's crawling along the window side. We found a dead one of these back earlier in the, in the highest part of this condo. It seems to be going that hole, and I think it's a sibling of the one we found dead. And it went in the hole. Here's another brown recluse. It's probably a sibling to the one we found a few minutes ago. Brown recluses are actually a common house bird, which we probably see a bunch. There's probably a nest nearby. I'm pretty sure there's at least like 30 around here. We found this a few minutes ago after the first Here are a bunch of female brown recluses inside the hallway of my condo. They are doing this thing where they wrap themselves up in webbing so that they can lay eggs safely from predators. They will also use this webbing that they wrap themselves up in when they are done to put the eggs in like sacks. They will then proceed to use more webbing to fastly secure the sacks onto where they laid in the first place. Then they will walk away and let the eggs hatch and grow for their own. And if there's females that hatch, they will continue the process. Here we are in Westport, Connecticut with a golden silk orb weaver. We found it on a trip to one of our friends for the weekend. It's very majestic just sleeping there. As you can see, if you can tell it's the web, it's like the normal orb weaver design. This is one of the best web designs and it's a spiral. Orb weavers can make many web designs and spirals are the most used in cartoons and such.